Hey guys and welcome to another episode tutorial with me Joseph Evans, author of the Secret Sequence books, The Phoenix Prophecy, The Ember Effect, Soulbound, The Secret of Ring, The Last Goodbye and Glitch Girl. If you find my tutorials helpful and you'd like to help me continue making them, please take a quick moment to check out my Patreon page and see the different ways you can support me. If you do decide to support me, you can get a range of rewards as a thank you from me, including early access to these tutorials, voting on what tutorials I make, episode goodie bags, shoutouts for you and your stories, and even personal help from me. You can also get certain rewards by becoming a member of my channel. All you need to do is click the join button underneath this video, or click the first link in the description of the video. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys a way to make an advert for your stories. And when I say advert, what I mean is something similar to the official episode adverts that episode creates to advertise the app on social media. If you follow episode on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook, you'll most likely have seen one or more of these kind of things. Now these are illustrated by talented artists in the episode office, so we're never going to be able to make something exactly like these, but I will show you how to do the best we can with the tools available to us. Before we start, we are going to be using a completely free image editing program called GIMP, which you can download from GIMP.org. I've used this in quite a few of my videos now, so you may already be familiar with it. If you're not, I would recommend checking out my how to make custom backgrounds tutorial, because that one goes through the basics of how to use the program. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use the same dummy story that I used for my how to make a cover tutorial, which I named Love is in the Air. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is set up a scene specifically for this advert. You could of course just use a screenshot from an actual scene in your story, but I'd recommend staging one specifically for your advert because it's going to give you a lot more control over how it looks. And I'm going to stage mine on a black background rather than any of the art catalogue backgrounds because this will allow me to cut the characters out in GIMP and modify them separately to any background that we place behind them. So int black knight as my background and I'm going to place Lainey who is the protagonist of this story in the screen left position. And Chad, our love interest, he can stand screen right. And I think I'll have Lainey perform the Think rub chin animation. And Chad, I'll have him perform the flirt wink at camera animation. And then if I save and preview, I can spot direct these to be exactly where I want them to be. So to make this look as staged as possible, I think I'm gonna have Lainey be really close to the camera and I'm going to have Chad be way far back in the distance. Maybe something like this. And as you can see, the layers are incorrect here. So I'm just going to shift these around. So we'll have at Chad moves to layer one. And then Lainey moves to layer two. As long as she's at a higher number layer than he is, she will be in front of him. I think I'm just going to scale Lainey back a little bit more. Okay, and then just copy these positions over and replace the ones I put them in to begin with. So, Chad spot so and so, change character, replace Lainey's. And let's just see if that's fixed the layering issue. Great. And just like in these official episode adverts, I want the lead character to be thinking about a choice she has to make. Now, this doesn't have to be an actual choice from your story. In fact, I'd recommend this stage choice to be entirely made up for the purpose of the advert. And I would think of something that represents the overall theme of the story. Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that this story would be about falling in love with Chad over the course of the whole thing. So I'm gonna simply put Am I in love? And then the first answer can be yes, he's the man of my dreams. And the second answer could be no, the chemistry isn't there. Uh, 
And instead of a speech bubble, I think I'm going to want this to be a thought bubble because she's thinking about this rather than saying it out loud. So just put those rounded brackets around the dialogue there. Now, here's the weird part. I actually want this thought bubble and the two answers to be on its own separate black background. The reason being exactly the same as why I want the characters on a black background. This way, I can cut it out easily in GIMP and move it around freely. The easiest way to have this appear on a black background is just to cut away from the action for a moment. So I can just put in here, cut to zone two. But I do need to make sure that the camera pauses on these guys for just a few seconds, just enough to allow me to take a screenshot on my phone. So before it does cut to zone two, I need to put in a pause for, and then let's say five seconds. That should give me plenty of time. Let's just test if that works. Okay, that's pausing for five seconds, and then, there we go, perfect. So this is now ready to load up on my phone for me to take the screenshot of my characters and then a separate screenshot of this choice. And a tip for taking screenshots, on your phone or mobile device, if you click on navigation, there'll be an extra option here somewhere which says hide debug elements of HUD. If you click on that, it will remove all of this and allow you to take a nice clean screenshot. Great, I have my screenshots on my phone and I'm gonna airdrop them to my laptop and now is the time to load up GIMP. When that's loaded, go to File and Open and then find the screenshot of your characters. And the first thing I'm gonna want to do is crop this because it's way too vertically long for a social media post. You can crop this however you want, but I would recommend making it square so that it's optimized for Instagram because Instagram is most likely where you're gonna be getting the most traffic and interest in your story. To crop, just go over to the tool panel on the left-hand side of the screen and select this option here, the crop tool. And then just drag a box around the area you want to crop it to. And because we're not gonna be able to get an exact square just by guessing, uh, we can go over to the size options in the left panel here and just adjust these until they're identical. There we go. And then hit the return key to confirm your crop. And now I can zoom in a bit. Brilliant. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the episode art catalog and I'm gonna choose this sunny background of a house to put behind them. So just uh, copy that image and paste it into your document. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of resizing using the scale and move tools. And when I'm happy with the position and the scale of this background, I just need to go to this little green button at the bottom of the layers panel, just to confirm that that is exactly where I want to place the layer. The next thing I need to do is drag this layer in the layers panel beneath our characters, which does disappear for the moment because we still got all this black background. So let's get rid of it. To do this, I select the magic wand tool or as GIMP calls it, the fuzzy select tool. And before I do start selecting these, I need to change this mode from replace to add, which will allow us to select multiple areas of black. I also need to make sure that the correct layer is selected in the layers panel. Otherwise it will try and select colors from the layer behind it. And now I can just go in and select all of the black areas. Once I've got them all, I just need to go to the edit menu and then cut. Voila, you can now see the background behind it. And to deselect all of this area, just go to select and none. Okay, the next step is to get my choice in there. So I'm gonna locate the screenshot in a finder window and then just drag it onto my document. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same as what I did with my characters and get rid of all this black. So magic one tool, then edit and cut, and then select and none. And this now gives us a load of control over where this is placed. Now you may be wondering why I couldn't have just done this in episode itself. And the answer is that episode allows you to change the scale and position of the speech bubbles or thought bubbles, but not the scale or position of the choice buttons. Meaning that these always appear huge on the screen and they're always centered. In my case, I want these to be scaled and positioned manually. As you can see here, while I'm scaling it, it looks like there's still some black areas on the top of this layer and at the bottom of this layer, but we can always get rid of those afterwards. There we are, I think that's roughly where I want those to be. 
So let's just get rid of this extra black bit at the top. And this is looking pretty good, but there are a few things we can do to make this look less like a screenshot and more like a handcrafted advert. One of those things is playing around with the background. You can adjust the colors or the brightness and the contrast if you wish, but I'm gonna use the filter menu and select blur and choose this Gaussian blur. Now, if I drag this slider up, it'll make it look nice and out of focus, which is much more movie-like and perfect for the style that I want to achieve. Another thing I can do is add some lighting effects to the characters to make them look a little less flat. And for this, I think I want to apply these lighting effects to each character separately. To do this, I need to choose the free select tool and drag a rough area around one of the characters. Then hit the return key and also make sure that we have the correct layer selected. So this one here is our character layer. And I'm gonna to go to filters, then light and shadow, and then lighting effects. Now this preview window shows the effect applied to both characters, but don't be fooled by this. When you actually apply the effect, it will only affect the character you've selected. I'm gonna place the source of this light somewhere just in front of Lainey's face. And if I increase the distance, that makes it a bit brighter and encompasses a bit more of her face and her arm. And you can see why we're doing these characters separately here because if I did have this light shining on Lainey here, it would completely bleach out Chad. And at the moment, this light is looking very harsh white. So if I go over to the light tab, I can actually change this color to be a little bit warmer. And I can just keep playing around with these parameters until I'm satisfied with how it looks. And when I'm ready, just click OK. And look at that, guys. I think that does really help this look more like an ad rather than a screenshot. It just gives it that extra bit of depth and detail. OK, I'm going to do the same for Chad. So let's just select him instead. Filters, light and shadow, light and effects. And let's pull this one right over to right on top of Lainey's face. Okay, I think that'll do. Let's have a look. Brill. Let's go to select none just to make sure that any further effects we apply affects both characters. And how about we add in some kind of drop shadow to make this look a bit more 3D. To add in one of these, I go to filters again, then light and shadow again and drop shadow. Let's bring the opacity up a little bit so we can see it a bit more. There we go. This is starting to look really nice now. And I think the only other things that I could maybe add in to make it look more adverty, uh, maybe a few graphics behind Chad and possibly the story logo. I found this public domain image of some hearts on pixabay.com. So to get that in there, I just locate that in a finder window and drag that onto my document. Let's just drag this layer down so it's actually behind the characters. And then I can just do a bit of resizing. Okay, yeah, I like that. And to get my story logo in there, I can just open up the cover I made in the how to make a cover tutorial. Find the logos layer and then just copy and paste it into my new document. Once again, hit this little green button just to confirm that you want to paste that layer in. And then just drag this layer up so it's above everything else. And I think I'm going to move this right up to the top here and possibly scale it down a bit so it's not as close to Chad's head. Just so that anybody who looks at this advert knows exactly what story it's promoting. And actually, you know what? I think it's a little bit hard to read with those hearts in the background there. So let's try it in this bottom right hand corner. That's much easier to read. Perfect. OK. That is it guys, if this was a real story that I was advertising, I would now go ahead and post this to Instagram along with a proper blurb in the description and plenty of episode related hashtags. Then simply tell people that they can read the story by clicking the link in my bio. If this tutorial has helped you in any way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the helpful tutorials that I've got coming up. And if you'd like to support me and get some exciting rewards like early access to these tutorials and personal help from me, head over to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash author Joseph Evans, or click the join button underneath this video. 
If you have any questions about any of this, make sure to comment them down below. And if you know the answer to anyone else's questions in the comments, it would be awesome if you could give them a quick answer to help them out. Thank you so much for watching guys. Good luck creating your own adverts and I will see you all in my next video.